now focusing on triple class refractory multiple myeloma, first of all, I will define what is triple class refractory myeloma. A patient who has received and has stopped responding to the three cardinal classes of drugs, including an anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody, like drugs including deritumumab and isatuximab, a proteasome inhibitor, which includes drugs like uh, bortezomib and carfilzomib, and an immunomodulatory agent, which includes drugs like lenalidomide or pamalidomide, is known as a patient with triple class refractory myeloma. It's um, considered to be a high-risk disease feature. Uh, patients who have triple class refractory myeloma tend to have um, a higher incidence, a higher proportion of more adverse mutations. They tend to have biologically more aggressive disease. They tend to have organ damage and organ failure. They don't have a lot of uh, chemotherapy options available, and they tend to have a limited lifespan, lifespan once they become triple class refractory. And hence, it's important to actually uh, have these patients evaluated uh, for effective and well-tolerated chemotherapies, whether they're available commercially or if they're available on a clinical trial. If you look at this particular slide, uh, you may find the current treatment landscape for a triple class refractory myeloma as a cheesecake factory menu, where there are just too many options to pick from. Let me simplify this for you. On this slide, you see uh, boxes that are blue and green. Blue represents uh, chemotherapy options that are commercially available, approved, and are currently in use, whereas green represent uh, chemotherapy and cellular therapy options that are either uh, recently approved or are in clinical trials uh, and will eventually be available uh, commercially. Some of these chemotherapy options that are available have fallen out of favor because of their limited efficacy and side effects. Some of them have actually been taken off market by the FDA. Uh, there are certain options that are more preferred over the others. Um, and especially, especially when talking about uh, CAR T cell therapy and biospecific that actually fall in this blue bracket today. Uh, 